Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 22. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. All right, so we are on our way to the Mega 31 Mile Race. Uh, it is a no restriction race, so I feel like we're going to end up... Ooh, nearly hit a cop car there, not ideal. Uh, so I think we're going to end up taking the Jaguar. Uh, we haven't actually... We've only done one race for that so far. Um, I wanted to do more. But uh, we're going to save it more for the A-Class. But uh, this is the King of the Hill race. This is the big one. The proper final race, probably, of the championship. But I think there's a couple more that we haven't done yet. But uh, no restrictions, 96,000. Where are you, Jaguar? Right at the bottom, lovely. 96,500, we could go up again. But uh, that is a huge jump and a huge amount of money that I could just lose at any point. So we'll stick with normal. Sticking with the normal is a good idea. Especially for a race this long. You do not want to mess this up. Awesome. Two, one, go. We're in sixth place to start. 35 checkpoints. This is how we roll. This is how we do it. Got a little bit of drum and bass in the background, so you guys can enjoy that. The best bit about this series so far is no copyright claims either. It's epic. Hey, that tune though. We are so close to uh, 900,000 points actually. We've done a load of checkpoints, but um, obviously these are like short ones. He's going to start getting quite long. Um, I have a feeling this race will take about 13 minutes. And if we keep crashing like that, it's going to take even longer. Because uh, our average speed to finish in 15 minutes needs to be above 120 miles an hour at all times. To finish below 15 minutes. Bearing in mind we're going around corners where this car can't go as quick around them. Um, yeah, we get popping under 120 quite often. So I think around 13 minutes roughly. It will take. That was perfect timing for that braking zone. Based on the fact though that this is a um, King of the Hill race. And all of the King of the Hill races so far have had a lot of corners. I have a feeling there's not going to be many straights. Which I am not complaining about, by the way. I love corners in these games. They're so much fun. Ooh. Except that. That was very close to a telephone pole then. Right, two miles to the next checkpoint. That is not a problem for me. Cars are nowhere to be seen. We are flown off. Meow. Uh, I think there's no traffic in these races, if I remember. It's only uh, time trials that you have traffic, right? I think. I don't know. Or is it club races that are the ones that only have traffic? Because I know clubs definitely have traffic. Yeah, I don't know. Are these 
all of the little like King of the Hill races combined? It might be. Ah, uh, very nice. Those are some good drifts going on through there. Slow down. Perfect. If we get any more cards, we're going to have to start looking for another house again. That's the thing with this game. You get cards very often. It's just like, here's a car, here's a car, here's a car. Please, no more cars. I've got enough, thank you. Actually, no, please, give me more cards. Alright, definitely need to slow down for that corner. I remember that. We started recording a clip in, like, the Lamborghini or something and just ended up absolutely wrecking the car. Here we go. We're at this section again. There is something about this section. This game loves this road. It's like the fourth or fifth race in a row I've done going down this exact road. And it was also a big thing in Test Drive Unlimited 2 as well. I think there was two races down this road. It's insane. Nope. That's not good. Come on. Speed off, speed away, let's go. Get back up to speed. Right, we're not even halfway checkpoints wise yet. And we are now done with half of the checkpoints. And we've probably done about 11, 12 miles. Somewhere like that. So I have a feeling we're still going to have quite a lot left to go. Awesome. I don't know why, but this guitar song, drum and bass, the one that has like the guitar at the start, I instantly thought it was a pendulum song called Hold Your Color. I think that's the song. It's got like a little bit of guitar, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure. I may have got them mixed up. I'm very sorry if I have. And kicks in. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, slow down, come on. Nice. Oh, there was a bit of a stutter there, unfortunately. Hopefully the game doesn't crash, please. Though, I haven't in the entire like three weeks that I've been playing this PlayStation non-stop um, not a single game has crashed on me that's a lot of stuttering though I do not like that <laughs> I do not like that one bit last time Forza Horizon 4 done that stuttering it crashed and never booted up for an entire two months because um, the game did that oh it takes too long to start glitch oh great spun our car out again <laughs> it's the third time this race okay this is nice I don't think we've driven this section yet probably end up driving it at some point soon hopefully it's quite a nice section, actually. By the end of this race, we'll easily be at like 950,000 points. 
be getting close to that goal. Getting close to that one mil. If only my sub count was that. Rest in peace, me. Here we go. Nice. Perfect. No, come on. Okay. Phew. That was close. All right, that is the 21st checkpoint. And we're at nine minutes. I think that 15 minute time is looking a little bit more reasonable. The difference is though, between this and that um, 11 mile three lap race with the Aston Martin, is it was three laps. So you were doing a long race, but you were doing that long race three times. You were doing a five minute race three times. This is a 15 minute race once. Everything is different. It's all new stuff. I mean, except that section that we've done four times today. Very good. The amount of power that this car has, and you think back in the day, Jaguar to make something like this. Jaguar was like a luxury company. They weren't a supercar sports car maker. Like this is clearly supercar territory back in the day. It was nowhere near like McLaren F1. I think it was like the same era as that car. But it's still a really good car. And you gotta give it to Jaguar for actually like trying. A lot of companies gave up and give up. And there are some companies that just can't make it like that. Like you think Fisker was going to be a luxury um, there's a fly inside of my room that distracted me. Get out! Leave! No, but Fisker was supposed to be like a luxury car, electric car company. Because Tesla was, back in the day, supposed to be making sports cars. Electric sports cars. And Fisker didn't manage to do it. And Tesla just built off of a dead company. And then made the Model S and now Tesla is one of the most successful car companies in the world. Oh, come on. Stop crashing. And the new Tesla Roadster that they announced. That's going to be insane. The amount of horsepower in that. I don't even know the official numbers. But once that comes out... And we get that car in, like, Gran Turismo's and that. I would love to see, like, Teslas being in Gran Turismo, because they are fun. They're fun to drive. Gran Turismo 7 needs Tesla. Just that last section alone, we've gotten, like, 3,000 points. Just from jumps and drifts. Okay, so I think we're about six miles left. Maybe a bit less. Um, but we're now running at much slower speed because of the tighter corners. Right, we've got a couple of hairpins coming up. go nice and some air time 
Nope. Come on, reverse. This card does not like reversing uphill, apparently. Come on, come on. Perfect. How much further is left? Not too much, actually. We're going to go over 15 minutes, though. There is no way we could, at this point, get better than 15. Most of that was corners, so there was no way of creating speed through that. It's straightening out a bit now, so we could get a little bit more speed. Still, though, having to drop below 100 miles an hour. That is crazy. Nice. Look at that, 237 miles an hour. Oh, coming up to a corner. Oh, did I nail that or did I nail that? That was amazing. We're at Shark's Cove now. That's an interesting name for a place. Okay, and we are at the sea. So we are coming towards the very final stretch of the race. I really hope off-roading is a thing. Because um, I think it's the same developers making Test Drive as WRC. And WRC is quite fun to play. So I have a feeling they could they could do some really good stuff with this. Really good stuff. Here we go. Finish line. And there we go. 16 minutes and 8 seconds against an entire field of Jaguars. I don't even know how far behind the last car was. I probably don't even want to know. But there we go. 936,000 points altogether now. And 96,000 credits. Awesome. That was a very good race. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Uh, so we have quite a few more... Uh... How many more of the King of the Hills do we have left? Let's take a look. So we've got King of the Hill here. And King of the Hill here. So we have two more. Right, let's head towards them then. Right, so it's very nice uh, actually driving the Jaguar. It's quite a smooth car. Um, definitely flows through corners very well. It's just the fact that it's not as quick through corners as its competitors. Um, I'd say this is, isn't really an A class, I think it's more a B class, um, than an A class. But it's still very much fun to drive. And I now have the police on me, please don't crash into anyone. Woo! Those frame lags definitely were trying to mess me up. But here we go. Razorback Ridge. Uh, for this one we're going to take, uh, the Lamborghini probably. Uh, we've taken the Lamborghini a lot, but I don't care. Um, where is it? We've gone past it. Oh, actually, maybe the Miura might be nice. No. We'll go Gallardo. Just in case it's uh, random cars and not one make. Because if it's randoms, we're not going to have a chance with the Miura. 
and it's randoms. So it's a good thing we picked the uh, Gallardo. The Gallardo is our fastest uh, B-class car. Especially when it's randoms against the Jaguar, which we're beaten, by the way. Uh, and two Koenigseggs. Quite clearly the most powerful cars in this game. Except for the Chrysler. The Chrysler is like overpowered for some unknown reason. I think he's got an electric engine though, that Chrysler. I think it was like the McLaren P1 before it's time. Getting loads of air time through here. Couldn't exact struggling to get through these corners. Whereas our Lamborghini is able to rely on it. But freaking, oh no, that was not good. Oh no, we've messed up. And the Koenigsegg got away with it. There we go. I don't care. I'm doing it. Let's see if we can catch back up. Should be able to. Right, so the final section is quite a... Are you joking? Ah! Four miles to the next checkpoint. Okay. I was expecting it to be quite short. Um, but when I saw this bit, I was like, oh, maybe it's a mile away. No, four miles. We got our work cut out then. I mean, it's not like checkpoints do anything. It's just to make sure you don't cheat. But apparently the game thinks that we can't corner cut any further on from this point till the next checkpoint, so... That means we got to be on top of our game and make sure those Koenigseggs do not get the upper hand on us. Got more hairpin turns coming up. Here we go, come on. It's going really well so far. I have just noticed the ghosts of like each of the yellow markers. As you go around corners, you can see like the trail. And that's because of the interlacing. I don't know why interlaced was a good idea because it never was. Progressive scan always has been better. But for some reason, Sony went with interlace, which is a bad move. TVs were capable of progressive. There is no difference between progressive and interlaced. So why they did it, I do not know. Interlace just uh, splits the video and does like half of the frame in one go and then half of the frame in the other go. Hence the name. It's almost like a natural motion blur, but when you're playing a racing game it's not ideal. Playing Ridge Racer, I'm guessing that would probably be perfect for it, interlaced footage. There we go, though. 3 minutes 53.3. I was not expecting that race to take that long, but I didn't expect there to be a uh, mysterious checkpoint either. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Uh, next up, our next race is 2.9 miles away. Uh, there's an event up here. I feel like if our Lamborghini can speed up, we'll do this one first. Nope. I'm not turning around. I'm doing this event. Thank you very much. Here we go. Speed trap. Hilltop hammer. Okay. And what vehicle class are you going to make us drive this time? D class. 125 miles an hour. Ugh. It's quite quick, actually. But uh, the Skyline should be able to handle it, no problem fast car after all three cameras 
And I'm guessing it's all in a straight line as well. Not many corners based on the position that they're all placed. They all pretty much are in the exact same position. So, uh, yeah, should be fine. Oh, no, we got some off-road penalty. Oops. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to restart that. <laughs> I went straight off-road. I did not see the corners come in on either time. So, um, yeah. Let's retry. I wanted to say we got it first time, but, uh, yeah, nope. And off we go. Come on, Skyline. You've got this. Oh, we got a tiny bit of penalty there as well. Still. But we have gotten much, much faster than last time. And I think that tiny little bit is probably only going to be like 0 0.1 mile an hour. So. 0 0.09 mile an hour penalty. 139.75 miles an hour total. Nice. 950,000 points. Come on. Let's see if we can get to a million by the end of our recording session today. All right, next location, let's go there. Right, so we are on our way to what I can only presume is the final of the King of the Hill challenges. Um, again, it sort of wasn't like a running order or like you started in one location and you went to the next. But they do have the name King of the Hill on all of these. So I would presume this is the final event because I can't find any more that I haven't already done. Um, but yeah, let, we'll find out when we get there. Kiawalu is a nice location. The houses here are crazy though. But I feel like we should have started with like a two car garage. I really do. Like, I think there should be like even worse houses than what we have. Because what we start out with is still a pretty nice house. I think there should be worse houses. Um, that you start out with. Because obviously TDU2 you start out in a caravan. I mean, come on, it can't get worse than that. That's a pretty decent start. You start out in some of the worst and you get up higher up into the ranks and all that. Pretty cool. Is half, a mile away. half a mile away from the event. I think this will also be my final race of today. For today's session. Okay, here we go. It is a time trial. I think it's B class as well. It's called Ridge Runner. Awesome. B class event. 2 minutes 22 seconds. We're going to take the Mura for our final one at King of the Hill. 61,000 credits for this. And if it is the final one, we may get a car as well because we've obviously completed an entire championship. Awesome. 0 0.2 miles away now. I was about to say 0 0.3 miles away for the first checkpoint. But, uh, nope. To be fair, though, we could have gone further up that hill. So, I don't know why we didn't start further up. Because we're mostly at the bottom of the hill. This is pretty much the bottom. I don't know where it's going to take us after this because we're right at the seaside now. At the shore. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. At the next turn left. Turn left. Awesome. Maybe it's going to go back uphill somewhere. I don't know.
Nice. I think the thing they found a little bit difficult in TDU2 is adding, like, dirt roads to the map as well. Because they somehow had to fill all this empty space. Because there is quite a bit of empty space in this game. But there's also quite a lot of tarmac roads already there. So they would have to go through all of it again to find some good spots to put dirt roads. That's a construction site. Okay. Nice. And 20 seconds left on the clock, and there's the final checkpoint already. Awesome. That is everything finished for King of the Hill, I think. There we go. 2 minutes 22, destroyed with a time of 2 minutes 10.413. We got a nice amount of credits for that as well. 970,000 points. We're so close to a million. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.